All you entrepreneurs out there, small business and large business owners, I'll share with you something that's invaluable that I've learned. I'm actually here in Oslo, Norway. Just landed with some of my team and I was a little frustrated with one of my team members. I was frustrated because they couldn't consistently do what they needed to do. They were making a lot of mistakes. And I took the time out. I took about 20 minutes to just formally train them. Now, here's what you gotta do to build a team. First of all, number one, you gotta realize no one ever did anything big without an elite team around them. Bill Gates said he never did anything alone except take tests, he said. He had Steve Ballmer, he had Paul Allen, he had 100,000 employees behind him to build Microsoft in the biggest company in the world. Same with Facebook, same with Apple, same with Elon Musk. That realization will help you put in the time and motivate you to have the effort, uh, to want to put in the effort. Havergrot, it's funny, this is the same German word for oats. This is oatmeal that the Amish use. The Amish call oats, Havar. They're very related languages. Scandinavian is a, form, is a Germanic language originally. So a lot of things, you know, sound English and German. We're taking the bullet train. These European countries know how to do public transportation. Is this the coldest it's been since, uh, since you visited? Yeah, Have you... it's cold. Do you normally come during like spring and stuff? You know what? I like four seasons. I come fairly often. Get out of the monotony of one season in California. This uh, moving made me hungry. Got my little bagel. Sit here under the starlight. Olga, do we have food? Yes. Oh, we already got it ready Healthy to go. Food. Healthy food from a top chef in Norway. Cooks for me. Always make sure you spend your money on food, high quality. Don't. Don't skimp out on that. Oh, no. You skimp out on that. Penny wise, dollar foolish. You should turn the fireplace on. I'll show you how to switch. Yeah. Let's get a little fire going. Get fire right. <laughs> Got a little fire action here. Make it comfy and cozy. Always travel with my shoes. I play basketball, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I got so many shoes here, but and a lot of clothes. But I'm gonna leave them here. One of the secrets to traveling is when you can set up a little base, then you don't have to bring so much luggage because you can leave stuff where you go. Time to do a pay it forward. I even brought some prizes to ship right from here. iPhone, iPad minis, MacBook Air. Who's gonna win this? This is how you win. Go to my verified at Ty Lopez Instagram. Comment on a recent post and tag three friends. Make sure you're following me. Who's this? Hello, how are you? Hey, Ty, it's me and Sandra. Can we get it? Uh, Wait a sec, hold on. Uh, Terry, do you want to get in? Uh, well, I'm just jumping uh, with the... Uh, <laughs> you have to say, the, what's the password? The secret password I gave? <laughs> what are you drinking out of? Look at what she's drinking. We need to keep our chairs. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Actually, I'll take one. one yep. Small thimble full. Cheers. Did you have one? Uh, I've had one, yes. There you go. Norwegians, you have to have them drink a lot. Do we have a shot? Where's tequila? Yeah, we have tequila. Yeah. Yeah, it's Adrian. Yes, <laughs> say tequila. <laughs> Cheers. Full. Oh. Be like, drink more. Drink more, read more. <laughs> Drink more, read more. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know. So I'm still trying to figure it out.
She said she's from northern Norway, so she could drink. She said that that little bottle right there is like one shot for her. The first thing you learn in nightclub business, women always think they can drink a lot until you're carrying their ass. <laughs> Oh, I, I know you've been carried. I've been carried since I was like 13. So. You've been carried. <laughs> <laughs> Number two thing is you have to train formally. Everybody knows they need to train their employees, but they do it in a very informal, haphazard way, which doesn't work. What does formal training look like? Well, maybe a little bit like a classroom, a dedicated room that your employees go into, a dedicated time, pen and paper, Drills, exercises, quizzes, testing for retention. Then number three, you gotta look over their shoulder because once you do the formal training, you can't expect memory retention to be perfect. So it must be continue over the shoulder style training. Congratulations on your last fight. Thank you, sir. He put him, submitted him in an arm triangle in about Whatever. two and a half minutes. So what's next? Uh, I'm fighting in uh, London again, February 18th. So uh, it's going to be at the O2 Arena. Oh, you're fighting at the big one. What do you, what do you, uh, what kind of film is this? Uh, I actually go Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Mark Wahlberg and the Patriots. That's cool, man. Who are you telling that guy? I, <laughs> I told that guy that I'm in action films with Arnold and Mark Wahlberg and I'm in Patriots Day. <laughs> so maybe he'll look for me in the background. <laughs> My main hope is that you'll take away the concept of a formal training program. Most entrepreneurs train very haphazardly. They train only in crises. Well, that's not going to cut it. If you only train during crises, then guess what? Your blood pressure is going to be through the roof and you're only putting out fires, prevent fires, prevent fires, prevent fires. So you should have at least a three time a week training program for your employees. Even if you only have one employee. And it should feel formal. There should be a, a curriculum to it. There should be an understanding when they walk in the classroom or the training room, what they'll learn for that day. There should be evaluations formally. So don't just be like most small business owners that don't have an elite team because they never took the time, uh, they never understood the importance, they never formalized the training, and they never followed up on the training. So leave a comment below on your best uh, entrepreneur tip for building a team. That's three good ones that have helped me a lot.